concept of One for the Birds comes from part of a, a larger script that me and Stephen Vallier, my co-writer, were working on that included uh, this bum character who wins the lottery. Kind of the idea is that he, it's not really extravagant, he just kind of goes around and buys really normal stuff. A friend of mine, Kyle Shoemaker, uh, we were in a Pacers game. He mentioned he had a capstone project coming up, so said he would need to be putting a crew together to make a movie. I kind of have some background in video production, so I offered to, to help him out with it, and so far it's been a pretty fun time. My idea was actually just minimize speaking roles and try to tell a story as visually as possible with you know facial cues and expressions and uh, music and musical montage and things like that. Uh, I also realized that at some point I, someone had to talk in this movie, and I was involved in the local production of the musical Rent, and Andrea Haydn played Maureen and was one of the best actors in the whole production. So I thought she'd be good for my, our woman with attitude role. Any thoughts on a recap as far as... Um... Oh, good, good, good. Like, Take another one. Good. Uh, my first film. Exactly <laughs> How much are they paying you to do this? Nothing. It's paying me double time. What exactly is he paying you? Well, whatever it is, he's paying me double tomorrow. On Sundays, I like to usually watch The Walking Dead, season three. I did that for my family. <laughs> Jaron Valier is a method actor. He did not break character one time in the entire production. In fact, it's four months later, he still hasn't broken character. Greg, he uh, kind of starting off, you know, we kind of uh, did the handshake and he turned out to be just a barrel of monkeys. You know, he's a pretty good guy. Uh, pretty easy going, uh, real good with volunteering his time. Uh, and I think he really definitely made the movie what it is. Really, the best actor in the whole production was Kevin Moore, by far. Let me talk about soda. The soda I chose was Mountain Dew Halo Edition. And I chose that because, I chose it to almost, just to be ironic, because, I mean, people that drink Mountain Dew are just such, just meatheads, unenlightened buffoons. This, and this wasn't your contract, correct? That you, you would get to choose the soda? Yes, that was, I was very adamant about that. I wasn't comparing myself to Jackie Chan, but I, what I did was far more dangerous. That CO2 bubbling up in my hands, I just, I, I was like, it's now or never. I wish I could tell the ducks what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said this first. I've, I've never worked with ducks. They are known as divas. They, they have an attitude in their bills, you know. They, they, I guess they don't have tech, they technically don't have teeth, but they bite, they have a bite. You know, the, the ducks, they were never there when you want them to be, but when you don't want them to be, they're always quacking. I mean, quack down a little bit. They're trying to get stuff done, I don't know. They, they're, they're, they're divas, they're tough to work with. It's, uh, they're a cool animal. <laughs>